all the shit. Not being able to loan the shit. You ain't going through none of that. You probably not going to You see? I am. I understand. I just want to see what's going on. Yeah, God, he finna just letting y'all know, he finna destroy America. So, the only second, he's about to destroy America. Oh, okay. Not the earth, just America. We can yeah. hear there, so. And the king is finna come, so that's it. All right? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. See y'all in the king of heaven. You really eat, you want Esau. They willing to buy it, you know what I'm saying? Esau don't. We're gonna have to think about it. It's gonna be so bad, we're gonna have to damn near kill. We're gonna whoop Esau's ass so bad, he's gonna perish. His eyes are gonna get eradicated. He's gonna be whooping his ass that bad, the king. They're gonna be so proud. He's probably gonna be like, man, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be killing a thousand Edomites per day. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna do all heads, straight brain. Right, just. Slap the shit out of his hand. Your whole hand just go through his shit like some ground beef. No, 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 that's a you hit his head, right? That's a his head smashed through everybody else's head. Just yeah. curse. <laughs> All right, we back. We're going to try this one more time. Yeah, yeah, Give yeah. our honor, praise, and glory to every father, name, and son. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Wahweh, Dashikah. Why do y'all boss me out of for the Holy Spirit? What's the loudest to come out here and, um, you know, bid Israel to the marriage, hit the highways, you know? do the work, but double honor to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone of Israel, you know, double honor to all the elect elders out here, hopefully elect elders and apostles, as well as the entire conglomerate of those slaves to be saved from the destruction, coming to the earth and chiefly to America, and those people being slaves to be saved from it being the Israelites, right, the elect and one third of the Israelite race, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians and Seminole Indians that have repented and are in this truth and will be found by the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son to have been repented, you know? So that's it. So yeah. You got it, bro. Fine. Let's go ahead and keep it off with uh, the second Edges 95. That's correct. I can't believe I'm going to 13. That's great. I mean, I can believe it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just ridiculous. Lose out here at 13. Ain't no opposite. I don't know, it's just weird. They ain't got no chance at this point. This is second edge, chapter 9, verse 5. Yeah. 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 Y
that due to uh, well, just personal experience, that our people are stiff-necked and hard-headed. You know, and that translates. Everything that we read out of the Bible, we're, we're, we're able to translate it to actual life. You know, we seen a clear example a couple of minutes ago. Um, a couple of people, a group of, of, of friends walked up and we were trying to give them the word, we were trying to give them life, we were trying to plant the seed in them, but they didn't want to hear it, you know? And a lot of times the seed is, is, is going to go on to be destroyed, not because of what the brother's bringing out, not because of the actual seed, but because of the damn soil, man, you know? Sometimes they just don't want to hear it, you know? It's dry. You got something up, brother? Yeah, yeah kind of. This is a uh, Syrac 15 and the lot here. Okay, I got it. It's locked. Syrac 15 and 17. Before men, before man is life and death. And whether him like it, and whether him like it shall be given him. So whichever you like, you see what I'm saying? You got two choices, life and death. That's what's right in front of you. Whether he like it shall be given him. Whichever you like, you see what I'm saying? Ultimately what you pick. You pick death, you're getting death, you know? So like you said, man, it's just to go on the part you was talking about, you know, trying to give them life, but they, they what? They, they know they got to, they got choices in front of them, according to the scriptures. They chose what they wanted, which is what? Not what we was trying to give them life. So that had to be what? Death. That's what's going to be given they little asses. You got it. And ultimately, you had, you, yeah, you had two choices, the life and the death, which you could, you could uh, refer to as like light and darkness. You know, they they continue to walk on in their darkness, man, in their filth. You know, they don't they don't want to hearken unto the, to the words of the of the Lord. Yahweh man. Why? Because in the book of Jeremiah it says their ears are closed. You know, they they can't they can't accept anything, man. But ultimately, the the Lord made them not want to accept it, man, because He reserved the wicked for the for the for destruction. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 7. It says, But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. It says, but, but they will not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are imputed and hard hearted. Yeah. And then we know in, in, uh, um, in the Hebrew, the word heart goes into love. You know, so they're, they're hard headed. You know, it really goes into your mind. They're closed by the man. They don't want to accept the truth. But um, really, it's because they got it so far from what they once uh, were, you know? They were once wrong to you. You try to tell them that, and they're like, nah. That nigga literally said, that nigga literally said no, man. And he said no, man. He said no. He asked why. He said because of the way I'm treated, you know? A lot of that has to do with the so-called white man, how much he's oppressed. Um, these so-called blacks, these so-called Latinos, these so-called Native American and Seminole Indians, you know? He's, he's, he makes you pay taxes, man. And he makes you chase for things that you don't really need. And he makes you just want for them in your mind, man. But you don't need those things, man. You got something, brother? Yeah, First Peter 2 and 9. For ye are, but, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shoot forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. He called you out of death. De obviously, death represents darkness, and light represents life. So you was called out of death. You was just called out of death, but you was like, nah. And that go into what? Proverbs, the first chapter. He stretched out his hand, you see, but you gonna, you ain't want it. So now you're going to eat the fruit of what you went and picked. The Lord was like, here, eat this. Jacob's like, mm-mm, I want to eat this. And as they go on to uh, turn back to what they, what they love, which is death, they're going to they're gonna taste death, man. You know, they're going to perish with all the things that they're chasing for, which is what? The nice shoes, the nice cars, all the, all the carnal shit in the world that Jake loves, man. You know, Jake would rather 
stand in line and buy 50 tickets for the fours that are about to drop than to come up and listen to the truth, man, and to find out who they actually are and who, who the ancestors were and who they go back to as a people and live righteously, man, you know? And they fail to realize that that's, that, that same thing that they keep chasing is actually the same reason why you're getting treated the way you're being treated, man, you know? You got something, brother? Okay. Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endured forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, let me keep going. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take heed of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. That, 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 that's what we're going on. That's why we're out here standing out here, man, in the rain doing, you know? We're telling Jacob to turn back, you know, repent or you will perish. Keep going. That thou mayest be, walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Jump to the point. O Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to God are made known unto us. That's, all, that's wisdom, man. You know, you being, you knowing what, um, how to, how to, how to be able to be fruitful in the world, but be fruitful on the right hand, man, mm -hmm. on the right hand of the heavenly Father. You know, be able to do it righteously instead of wicked, wickedly, like you, you Jakes do, man. You Jakes will sell out for some of the nice things that the Lord um gave you the wisdom and the power to be able to get, which is, is it's ultimately wealth. You know, roughly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know, you can, if you can uh, jump back to the blue, blue, uh, 428. Excuse me. Uh, uh, just uh, read where you left off. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. What's going on? You got to bear with us on the, on the, on the, um, with the feed, you know, the scream. It says, nobody else should do this. I don't understand this. Baruch chapter 2, verse 28. It says, As thou speakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel. We've also used the. Come on, come on. Yep. Baruch 2 and 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And that's probably so-called Palestinians are able to say that how um, how close we are to the end. It's because Jake's actually hearing that, hearing in the land of their captivity that they're the chosen people of Yahweh Bashem you know? They're being able to turn back to their culture, to turn back to the, to the ways of the Lord, you know? And how? Why? Because of the light. You know, which is Yahweh's shot. Yeah, I believe he said that in Matthew 5 and uh, Matthew 5 and verse 14. He said, as long as I'm in the world, I am the light. And well, Yahweh is still with us in the spirit, man. Why? Because he's the word of the Lord, you know, pursuant to uh, Revelation 19 and 13. You got something, brother? Yeah, Zechariah 8 and 20. Thus says the Lord Yahweh. Thus says the Lord Yahweh of hosts. It shall yet come to pass. It shall yet, it, it shall yet come to pass. That there shall come people. That there shall come people and the inhabitants of many cities. And the inhabitants of one city shall go to another. Saying, let us go speedily to pray before the Lord Yahweh. Basham Yahweh Shah. And to seek the Lord Yahweh. Basham Yahweh Shah of hosts. I will go also. Yeah, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. Thus says the Lord Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is, that is a Jew, saying, we will go with you. For we have heard that God 
It's with you. Why? Because the, the Masons were scattered, you know, going back to the brute force, right? But he, in, in, in Matthew, in the same, um, in the same, in the Gospels, he calls us the light as a people. He said, "Ye are the light," you know. So we're sent forth to the nations and wake to, to wake up our people, you know, all through the, through the power of Yahweh Hashem you know. But then, really, too, if I can, it's going into what? It's going into the actual other nations. Because you ain't got to take hold of a skirt of him that is a Jew if you're a Jew. You see what I'm saying? Ultimately. Because eventually, the only reason somebody would do that, that's a Jew, is because they don't know they're a Jew. You see what I'm saying? So they doing that so they can become a Jew again. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Israelite. So really, it's going into the, 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 the Gentiles. That's why, to back you up, I brought that out. Like you were saying, the Palestinian girl came up here. They gonna come before us and take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying we have heard that God is with you. You see what I'm saying? Cause Jake not gonna do that. Why? Cause two thirds about to get killed. Are they gonna have to do that in the kingdom? No. He said in the kingdom, all gonna know me. So who is that talking about? That's talking about the Gentiles, the natural Gentiles. Ultimately, you know. But in the spiritual sense, that's true too. But ultimately, it's talking about that. You got it. it makes sense because it's happening all over the earth. You know, you can say this too. Um, well, it started in well, New York, you know, with the apostles, the other apostles of, uh, at GMS, you know. But now you got one, 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 one West. Con, water. And one West, you know. But now you got you got brothers in Arabia, you know, brothers in, in, in Mexico, in Puerto Rico, all, all over the, the world, man, throughout the four corners of the earth. And people of the other nations are, are hearing our brothers preach, you know, through the four corners of the, throughout the four corners of the earth. Man. And they're, they're taking heed, you know, just like as an example, they, they did, man. They, li they sat up here and listened respectfully, and they agree with us, man. That's how it's going to be in the kingdom. They know that the, the so-called white man is the devil, you know. And they know it. And if I can, too, it's huh. going to be before the kingdom, too. Like, on the, the road to the kingdom... Like when all hell breaking loose, you're going to start collecting a lot of people. You see what I'm saying? And obviously in the kingdom, it's, oh, yeah. you might as well hang it up. We're going to be glorified then. But they're going to be doing that on the way to the kingdom because it's confusion in many places, as the scriptures say. So people seeing the madness going on, and they trying to find some type of light. And the only thing that looked different is this. So it started at that point while the camp's still going on. But then eventually it's going to be when... Well, all hell breaking loose, and we got a bubble around us. You seeing certain people with bubbles around them. They're going to do it then. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I say you probably going to start collecting. You probably start collecting concubines. You probably start collecting slaves. You see what I'm saying? The Lord will be like, all right, you got to get beamed up. Move your slaves. You see what I'm saying? You never know. You know? Go ahead, No, if I can, just real quick. That all makes sense to the, um, the Isaiah chapter, was it, four or three, the seven women? Yeah, that's, that's and it says, awesome. and I'm going into complete, you know what I'm saying? And the brother said, that's, that might be when we start collecting the accounts you buy, because that yep. complete go into, you awesome. know, yep. all the way around, you know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. So you, you you probably will be um, collecting other nations and whatever at that time. Mm -hmm. On top of what you, you know, what we what we um, should initially have, which is our own. Yep. It didn't say seven wives, it said seven women. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. But that was it, I could... Mm. Uh, uh, that's exactly what I was about to say, man. Through the spirit, you know? What, that? Yeah, what, the seven women? Oh, okay, kind of, yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. Then you know? I'm here. It's good, to, it's good to constantly bring out scriptures because a lot of people think that we're speaking from our own minds. Yeah. Everything that we're saying, man, it's in the Bible. We could, we could show you, you know? You got it, right? Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. And that's what we're just going into, you know? Those seven women, they don't, it doesn't say seven wives, so they don't all necessarily need to be Israelites, you know? Mm -hmm. Back up the brother, it could be concubines, mm -hmm. you know? Of, of, the, of the other nations, you know? Yep. But, uh, back up the brother said. First Thessalonians 5 and 21. Prove all things. 
Hold fast that which is good. Yeah. Whenever you bring something out in the scriptures, man, you gotta be you gotta be able to prove it. Or, or else it's cut. You know? You gotta Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the all the world for a witness unto all nations. You see? Unto all nations. That's that's you go into the word uh what nation means all race it means races, race. You know, so really it's going into all races of people. You know, everybody's about to hear this word. Go ahead. Come. It says, and then shall the end come. And then, and then shall the end come. So this is this is about to happen right before the end. You know? And we, we know we're here, man, because we're we're measuring measuring the times diligently. Everything that's happening right now, man. This we're just talking about you know, the fire is happening, you know, 200 people dying. The Lord is bring, bringing out His judgment on a major scale, man. So, so much that we, you know, on a scale that we've never this seen This is what before. activates the end. In Chicago only, um, they said these three months have been, um, there's been the most deaths to, um, than any year, than any other year, you know, before. You know, so that's a, that's a sign from our Heavenly Father, man. What, we wanted to say something? That was it. I already said I was just getting it out. I was just saying what you said, like that. That's this what activates the end, you know? Right. What this going out? Right. Preaching, you know, so, uh, presenting our, our bodies a living sacrifice. Um, it says scriptures say in that in that day, um, or in that hour, that the true the true worshippers um, shall shall worship the Son in spirit and in truth. You know, we're we're, we're witnessing prophecy right now. It's beautiful. This is Revelation 10, if I can real quick. Yeah, you got it up. This is Revelation um, 10, just to back up what the bro just said, man. All right, this is Revelation 10, and uh, verse 11. And he said unto me, thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations, meaning races, and tongues and kings. Um, notice how it said again. You know, why? Because yeah. the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, you know? The things which have been uh, before the other, other, other things that we sh shall be now, roughly paraphrasing, you know? Time, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, the water. We're, see, the prophets are back, man, and they're, they're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know? E Ezra might be in, um, you know, Florida right now, preaching, you know, preaching the word, you know? Pro prophets are back, man. And we're, we're seeing our people wake up, you know? And it's, it's happening um, little by little, but the Lord is doing that to test uh, the, elect's, the, the elect's patience, you know? This is, a, this is a trial and you gotta be able to endure it. You know, you can't, you can't start something and, and not um, acknowledge what you had before and, 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 and know that you, you don't have enough to finish it, you know? I know I butchered that. Yeah, what? Well, I mean, you had you in the spirit, you know. This um Daniel 12 and 9, and he said, "Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end." It says, "Many shall be purified and made white." Really, I'm gonna jump to the point. Verse 12: Blessed is he that waited, and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thou thy way till the end be. For thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. At the end of the days. So to back the brother up, you know, the elders always bring that scripture out, but pretty much Daniel will die and come back. You see what I'm saying? And still be in his lot. 
Why? Because the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. The prophets gonna always be around foretelling all the events that still left to be foretold until the end comes. You see? That's a beautiful scripture, bro. It said, um, until the times of the end, at the times of the end, knowledge shall be increased. You know? We're, we're witnessing that. You know, us, us being able to identify that the prophets are, are, are back here, that's, that's knowledge being increased. You know? Mm -hmm. That's something that has, hasn't been um, um, unsealed, you know, be, before, you know? And that's, it's, it's sealed, it's a uh, locket. Yeah, it's, it's unsealed now. It's made manifest. It's made manifest. It's kind of water. You got, you got something out there? This is Luke chapter 21, verse 25. It says, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity. I bring, I bring this out show, right? because there is just a, uh, a solar eclipse. Not a solar eclipse, a red moon. It's like a red moon. Just last week, man. Brother Shah Rayat, he had caught it on camera. He had, uh, he had posted a video of it, you know? It, it, was, it was blood red, and I don't even think Esau Edom um, put anything out in the news that that was going to happen. Exactly. That, was, that was a sign of, from the Heavenly Father um, for the elect of the nation of Israel, you know? It says, and upon the earth, distress of nations. This is distress of nations, man. There's oh. race wars are, are brewing, man. You know, people, pe and pe people, people are, there's like an atmosphere, and you can just feel it, that people just hate each other, man. That's why they went, went, when they wrote, um, when they walked by the pa Palestinian people, so called Palestinian people, they're, they're hating, you know, before they even figured out what the fuck, what was going on. Mm -hmm. They just, they, they were talking shit, bro. And then they had to come back and just be all like, so what is this? Like, what? You were just talking shit. You should have known. Why, like, why, why are you assuming stuff, you know? You got it out. <clears throat> it says, with perplexity. See, with confusion, they don't, even, they don't know, you know? They don't know why there's an atmosphere in here, man. <laughs> well, huh. It says, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear. Yeah, hurricane season just started, man. We got, uh, what was it, Hurricane El Elsa? Right there, about to hit, it's about to hit, uh, what, the, the, the west, the west of uh, America? You know? Just, just the east. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of right? And then, too, if I can, New York getting flooded. That's some whole other stuff right there. But you know, New York on the coast, too. It's uh, surrounded by nothing but water, you know? Jersey, all that. It's all surrounded by nothing but water, bro. It's, and they say it's getting flooded right now. Sloppy. Huh. It says, men's hearts filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And what, who's, who's, uh, what, the authorities that are up right now? That's Esau Edom, man. And they're, they're being shaken, man. The scriptures are, are manifold, you know. Their, their knees are, are shaking. They know what the so-called UFOs are, you know. They know they just don't want to, they, they know they're, they're actually preparing to go to war with, with them, man. They, 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 they understand, man, you know? They're not stupid. Keep going. Yeah, one of them the hardest Yeah, one of them the hardest Keep on going, it says, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. That so-called UFO is what the Son of Man is about to uh, come down on, man. That's the chariot of, of, of the Most High, you know. But notice it said all those be before the Son of the, of the com coming of, of the Son of Man, you know, all those things shall happen. And we're watching those things happen, man. And we're able to uh, give you examples um, 
and, and shed light on 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 what's going on in the in the world and tie it into the, the holy scriptures, man. You know? Make it a claim, yeah. You can get that out. Right? I have to get to you start at work. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And that's what the that's what the Lord uh um he asked of us, man. He said, he said, he, 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 he said, uh, uh, watch and pray. You know, because you know you don't know what hour of the Son of Man coming. Neither does he, you know. Only the only the Heavenly Father knows when he's gonna send his son, you know, to destroy this place, man. You know? That's why we gotta what, watch, watch and pray. And uh, stay, stay, stay uh, upon your tower, man. You know, low, low key, like the, the news is, it's only made for the elect, to be honest. Because that's, you know, you be, them reporting the stuff, the elect will make Israel uh, need, to, need to tie the scriptures back to what the, the majority of the people are watching, man. So they can go out and preach the word. Keep going. It says, and I will. And we'll watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am approved, when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables." That, the, the, vision, the vision's plain, man. You just gotta be able to see it. You gotta be able to have a, a open, open ears. You know, if then who have ears, um, let them hear. You know. They gotta be able to see it. The Lord gotta be able to open up your mind and your uh, and, your, and, 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 and un unlock your spirit, really, you know, make you, to allow you to wake up to the truth, right? To allow you to uh, uh, do, do the stuff that you do. So the Lord will control of uh, every man's uh, heart, mind. You know? I, I got so. <laughs> this is a. Uh... This is Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, keep not silence. So there it is. Yeah, we got we got brothers going live when when we're you know we're sleeping. You know, when we're sleeping. I mean, when they're sleeping, we're, you know, we, we, we're going live, you know, preaching and teaching the word, man. It's never, it's a never ending cycle of this truth coming out uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know. And we're, we're the main message is we're telling you so called um, Lat Latinos, you so called Negroes, you so called Native American Seminole Indians to come back to the Lord and, and repent, man. Or else you're going to perish from the destruction that's coming upon this place, man. That's. No, no, go ahead and finish. I just want to ask something real quick. That's, these, are, these, are, these are the Gospels, man. Because we're telling you what's about to come to this place. We're telling you that the captives are going to be made free. You know? We're telling you that hey, you there, there is a kingdom coming to this place. Caucasian. We deal with you before. You want, didn't you come up here eating chicken one day? A long time ago. That was some money. Bro, how long, so, how long go ago? ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. So yeah, man, you got you going into slavery, all right? So-called white people going into slavery. Just so, just to get it in your head, you get it real quick. Revelation 13 and 10, and then we are gonna get back to the regular schedule, the regular schedule of deprogramming. You going into slavery? All right, son. This Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. This for you. This your answer. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. We'll, we'll bring your ass up here, Esau. You ain't gonna hear nothing else. There's no place for repentance open unto you, as the scriptures say. You found, you're gonna find no place of repentance. We don't care you love. We're not hearing none of that shit, bro. Beat it. Go ahead, bro. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Why? Because you weigh your violence, the violence of your hands in the earth. That's the only way they say killers respect killers, man. Notice I said killers. I ain't say murderers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. 
So that's what we waiting on, and that's what you need to be waiting on. We waiting on that, because that's what's going to happen. That's your only fate, all right? But anyway, what I was trying to say was, when you think about the news, do the news ever stop? No. You know what I'm saying? It's day and night. I don't care what network that may stop. We talking about news overall in general. Does it stop? No. You get news at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 12 midnight, 11 p.m., on down. You see what I'm saying? Sun up to sundown, you get news. So we're a lot like news. We're the news reporters. You know, we're the real news. But that's all. So you got it out. But you can, you can bring out that scripture on uh, Isaiah 62 there one more time. Kind. That was a demon, bro. Isaiah 62. You got it out. It's a lot Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set I I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh keep not silence. Psalms 121 and 4. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. And that's the Lord. The Lord don't sleep. Like the brother saying, how the hell could news stop if the Lord is always judging? The man that's always judgment, always judgment is always up. So how will his workers ever get a time to not, you see what I'm saying? How is his how will his company of news reporters stop at any moment? They wouldn't. Because he always is up, because he's always judgment, and he's always keeping Israel. You see what I'm saying? They he never the Lord Yahweh don't sleep, man. He don't go to sleep. Like he doesn't sleep. Yeah. And especially if you're if you're of the house of David, man. You know, because David was said to have a mind like the most high. So if you're out. Go ahead, bro. No, it's something that hit me real quick. Go ahead. Yeah, if you're out of the house of David, man, you should be in that same mindset as David. You know? You got to lie. What I was going to say was, was this. It tell you, let me see real quick. It tell you in Cyrac 39, this is fair, you right here on the page. Cyrac 39 and 16, all the works of the Lord are exceeding good and whatsoever he commanded it, commanded, shall be accomplished in due season. So everything, the Lord commands everything. So how could he sleep? Think about it. If the Lord sleeps, you die. Your heart stops beating. You see that? He can't sleep. The Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh can't sleep. You know, if Yahweh, if Yahweh slept, Esau get a chance to fulfill his will. If, if Yahweh slept, we will have a chance to fill our own, fulfill our own wills. But since God don't sleep, that's how he, that's how he stay in control. You see, that's how you wake up in the morning. Cause the, the, the if he, if the Lord went to sleep, everybody gotta go to sleep. Cause we borrow our spirits. Go ahead, bro. No, that's, this, this that's, that's, that's true. Cause he set bounds that Esau Edom cannot pass. You know, if he ends up putting his, uh, his, well, you could call it his garbage down. You know, he, Esau Edom's gonna come, yep. come, come go right with, with his with his filthiness, man. That's it. He's gonna over, over, you know, overthrow him because he wants to be like the Most High, as it said in the scriptures. I got something. You know? And then if I can, cause I know people. Well, that cuts the Shabbat. No, it don't. It say rest. What is rest? Do you necessarily gotta sleep? No, not at all. No, he just said rest. It's a day of rest. It ain't say sleep. So the doctrine is very thorough all the way through, man. It's a lot of I got a few, but 
I started the Zephaniah chapter 3 and 1. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressed city. She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. She trusted not in the Lord. What's this city going to see, man? That's right here in America. So-called America, man. Babylon the Great. That oppressing city, man. The city that, 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 that uh, tells you to pay, pay taxes, man. You know? You're subject to, to payments here in our, in our oppression. You know, as it said in Luke chapter 3 and verse 8. You know? We're, we're, we're in captivity. You know? And then this place is filthy, man. You know? The brothers that... I, I heard it, they said uh they seen a bird with a damn garbage bag around it around it. You know? That's it, it's that's filthy man, that's symbolism. You know? You got it up. Cause, Cause Esau Edom goes into the eagle, you know? Eagle is just a it's a bird, you know, it's a fowl of the air. You know? That's just dirty. You got it. Now this is Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 2. It says, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord God. Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am God, I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man, and not God. It says, though thou set thy heart as the heart of the, of the Heavenly Father, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. It says, with thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into mean, thy treasure. I mean, what? You wiser than Daniel. Well, you, you know, Daniel know how to how to go about everything. That's why uh, Baal and the dragon, you know what I'm saying? He came to him and asked him, you know what I'm saying? And he was able to figure it out and tell him how to go about it. A king. They say Esau wiser than Daniel. Meaning Esau, he know how to go about everything, you see, to get to something. He know how to get, he know how to find you. Here you are somewhere on the planet Earth and he know where your ass at. That's how, that's, that's what it means. Go ahead. Because nobody never explained that when I said, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. You know, according to the scriptures, because what is wisdom? Go ahead. I ain't never really heard nobody explain that for real. That's it makes perfect sense because the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, man. You know, he saw Edom. You know? he, can, he controls this place, man. That's why, he, that's why he's so up right now, you know, in the, in the heavens, man. Because he knows, he knows how to get there. And then, and too, and then that's a good point. He said, he said he controls everything. That's wisdom. When you think about what is wisdom, it's the performance. It's action. When you think about a video game, you performing, you got your character performing. By what? The control you have. The controller you have. That's wisdom. Wisdom is literally just control. It's being able to control uh, 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 performance. You see what I'm saying? So that's why it means, that's, that's, what, that's why Daniel had, the, as they call it, the Daniel diet. He knew how to gain muscle. He knew how to do everything. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's fucking Esau, man. You know? I'm gonna bring on one, one, one last scripture out and then uh, you guys got it. Okay. Second Timothy chapter one verse ten says, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, who has ab abolished death and has brought life and immortality to life through the gospel. I'm going to link that you bring it out real quick. Second Ezra 8 and 40, 54. Sorrows are past, and in the end it shewed the treasure of immortality. 
So, you know, like you said, you know, pretty much we got our mind on higher things, man. You know? And that's what, something like immortality, which the brother read. But it said that's gonna be shoot that treasure, that's a monster treasure. That's gonna be shooed in the end. But the end is activated by what? By this, what we bringing out. You know what I'm saying? You got something, bro? All right, you go ahead and close out, bro. All right, yeah. And close out, giving all honor, all praise, all glory to Yahoo! Basim, Yahushah, Wahakul Ashukah. The water Yahoo! Basim, Yahushah, for allowing us to come out here, man, putting the spirit on us, to come out here on the highways and byways. We want to say double honors again to the apostles at Great Millstone and, uh, and the rest of the elect elders uh, set to be saved by the destruction that's coming upon America. Tell the one.